After fishing Illinois for many days, we have now decided to end our journey with my good buddy, Spencer Samplowski. And we're gonna go after one of the most legendary fish species up north that you could possibly target. Small mouth bass. Not just small bass, but big Lake Michigan small bass. Woo! This is it. This is our final send for our week up north. Been in Texas for so long, I've, I've really missed and forgot what it feels like to be a northern angler. And like I said, small is a goal today. Look, he's all decked out. He's looking good. Sorry. What's wrong? Nothing, we're good. Are you feeling good this morning? I am feeling good. I just got the phone with my buddy though, who just got a couple big ones south here, so. Oh. We're gonna fish you, we're gonna start here, but then we might call him. Okay, audibles are nice. Let's get a drug. How's she running? Did it start? Like a champion. You guys shouldn't do that. Not Catch and release only. Here you go, good luck. Oh, my very own rod. The key to this type of fishing is you want to fish slow, right? Slow yes, is better. Very slow. He said if I'm fishing, if I think I'm fishing slow, I need to fish slower. And if I think I'm fishing slower than slow, I need to even go slower. So slower, that's the tactic. And it's, it's raining. We get to the spot, it's raining. Oh, he's pretty good. That's a pretty good one. Maybe. I haven't gotten a good look at her yet. Oh yeah. Not a giant, but it's a good one. Good first fish to start the day. <laughs> first smallie. Check out that bass. Chill out, chill out, chill out. You're good, you're good, you're good, you're good, you're good. <laughs> it has been a second since I've caught a freaking small at this big. Living in basically Texas for what it feels like almost a year now. It's uh, it's fairly uncommon to see them this big unless you're fishing like Texome or something like that. But that's a nice one. Probably mid high threes. Look at the kickers on those fish. That's why they're so much fun to catch. They've got these big, powerful kicking fins. I mean, that is crazy. Wow. Success. Hey, nice one. Getting started. And back in the water. Look at the colors. I know I wasn't acting as, as pumped as I probably should be for my first like big, that's actually my biggest mouth of the year. Really? Can you believe that? Yeah. Cause I've been fishing largemouth from essentially January to now, other than that little devil's order trip. I have not targeted smallmouth since then. It's crazy. Wow. That was a nice one. We're after even bigger though. That's a good fish. Yeah. We're after bigger. So just keep that in mind. At some point today, once that sun comes up, things warm up, these fish will go crazy. And it's like, are you here? You can grind it out. You can mark them. You can see them. You can miss them, you can see them on side scan. And then all of a sudden at one point throughout the day, they just go crazy and you gotta be there, you know? Well, like we said in the beginning of this video, today is all about finding the best bite and pulling some audible. So that's exactly what is going to happen right now. We're gonna put the boat back in the trailer, right? We're getting out of here. Pull yeah. it. I wasn't feeling it here. The water temps aren't where they were. The fish aren't Not here. as warm, right? They weren't, they're were. they not here like they were yesterday. So we got better options elsewhere. And this video is all about one fish. And that one fish is not here right now, but it is here. That's big. That's how big it has to be. Spot number two, there's just bigger water. And there's a lot of people out here, which probably means the bite is sauced, which is a good thing. Um, we're gonna try a little bit different tactic. Still fish slow, still fish for big fish, but just try to really go after that one big bite. On. Nut. Yeah. <laughs> Good. Oh yeah, giant, giant. Actually, yeah. Oh. Dead down. Dead down. Dead down. 
<laughs> I think that audible worked. What do you think? That is a good fish. God, dude, how is that even possible? The thing is taller than it is long. <laughs> choke the lure too. Just choke the bait. Barely hit it. Like they really? don't. They don't hit. This. He like tooted on it, right? Yeah. That is a stupid big fish. Oh my goodness, that's wicked. Dude, that's a stunt. If this fish had another two inches on it, it's only like a four and a half pounder, but look at the build on that thing. Like that is what a smallmouth, that's what you want from a genetic for a smallmouth. I mean, that's crazy. Like that's a huge, 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 huge back, huge, huge body. Super, super cool fish. We're gonna tuck this one right back. This was our first fish after we called the audible this morning. Look at the belly on that thing. Super, super cool. Awesome. Okay, that's fish number one on the audible. Not a giant, but it is a big one. We, we're gonna get a big bite today, I can feel it. The sun's coming out, wind's picking up a little bit. Things are happening. I don't know what it would be, but oh, that whole idea Okay, going? when do you plan on filming? Oh, wow. Hammered it. Just hammered it. I don't think it's that big. Please don't come off. Come Whale. Come to a world class smallest fish, you're gonna catch probably the smallest <laughs> small from the entire bay. I can pretty much guarantee no one fishing around me has caught a smaller fish than this. Right? Is it, did, it, did this just come out of this like just came out this of just hatched? Six pounders butt yes. <laughs> Spencer, this just came out of a six pounders butt. I don't think that's how reproduction works, but um, I, 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 get what you, I get what you're saying. Wow, just an absolute tanker. Hammered it though. Can't deny the little ones are full of spunk. All right. Um, thanks, but grow up. How'd it feel to get a bite? Pretty good though. It was a good dump. It's funny how those little ones make you make you feel like you've got a giant on. Let's keep rolling. Yeah. Net, go to the net. Watch out, bud. You're in the net. Yeah. That's a nice one. Oh wow. Oh wow. Oh wow. That's a good fish. Get that ready, dude. That is six pounder. That's a six pounder. That's a six pounder. Hey. How big is that? Oh, it's disgusting. That is disgusting. <laughs> That's what you come out here for. Oh my gosh. <laughs> it is ridiculous. The hook just that popped out too. This is what you come out here for. <laughs> I don't even think that's safe. I think it's like a big five. It's a stud though. It's a stud. Yeah, he didn't even hit it either. Okay, I, so. I cannot believe that just happened. What were you about to say? I threw the same bait for 200 casts. Right there. More than probably. We have fished for I a picked time. up the same exact bait, but a little bit smaller. First cast caught that one. It's all about. It's crazy. We're all. We're also. By the way, I don't know if you guys noticed, but we're surrounded by boats. It's evident that this right here is the spot that people want to fish because there's a lot of, a lot of biomass here, a lot of smallmouth meat. I'm dragging a net rig, which obviously is not doing too great, but I just have a little bit of confidence. And Spencer threw out that little tiny jig and just got cranked. So sick. Oh wow. She's healthy. Yeah, what do you, if you had to guess, six you think? I'm gonna say it's a big five, like just shy of six pounds. Regardless, even if it's, even if it's like a five, like it's a fish we're after. Yeah. This is like the equivalent of like, I would say fishing like Lake Fork or fishing like El Salto. Like you're, you're fishing for- That like, one bite. That one big yeah. bite and you're fishing the right place to do it. You know, it's not like you're fishing some random pond where there could be a big small, but this is- Yeah, these small definitely wow. don't exist just anywhere. We're gonna get a weight, see how big she is exactly. I don't know. Yeah, see? What is it? 5'8", too. 5'8". Yeah. But that's still like... We, we're, yeah. It's a monster. It's, it's super hard to crack. crack. That's a group. Pounds. Like, yeah. super, super hard to crack six pounds. I mean, that's not... God bless him. Small bass. We should measure them, see how long it is. Yeah, I like to see how... Big this one's tape. not super um, built. Look at it. But it's just super the, long. The, the, the tail is what blows me away. <laughs> that's Jeez. cool. That's wicked. 
Okay, I'm gonna give him a drink here. We'll measure him just so you guys can see a, uh, a measurement on him. Not that length matters so much, but it's just kind of perspective for you guys. I think Lake really covers this wall. I think it's oh, wow. Yeah, 21 and a half. Interesting. Yeah, that's cool. We'll grab a photo of this one. Throw her back. We'll put her back. Hey, nice job. Nice work, bud. <laughs> that was almost awkward. Now, <laughs> now it's John's turn. Yeah. I, I have to I have to catch a nice big one. I got a nice three pounder and a little a little weenie, a little hot dog weenie small, but I still need to get that big one. So we are gonna slide this big one back. Super clear water. Watch this. So important to taking care of these fish. Look at that. That's so cool. <laughs> okay, we're gonna catch a big one now. That one's big. Yeah, right. <laughs> but we're looking for one that's a pound heavier. Big one, that one. Imagine a pound heavier on that fish. Inch longer, pound heavier. That's what we're after. All right, so what are we doing, guys? Moving spots on some more productive water. It's kind of a dead sea out here at the moment. There's a lot of fish beneath us, but it's just not all of them want to. We need some eat. wind. We need some wind. More or less? A little bit more. Okay. Oh yeah, that's a good one. It's a walleye. It's a freaking walleye. No way. It's a nice walleye. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> they can't. You can't escape them. Giant pre-spawn walleye. We were gonna do a walleye show tonight, but that wraps up that. We don't need to do that anymore. <laughs> That's your first walleye of the year? Ever. Ever? Yeah. No, I'm just kidding. Oh. <laughs> I was like, what? Who that are you? Yeah, no, that's actually my first walleye. They don't have too many of these in Texas, in case you guys are wondering. Wow, look at him show up his dorsal. This is a really unique fish, because I don't know if you guys can see this through the lens, but there's like a, it's like a tie-dye pattern. Yeah. pattern dorsal. I've never seen that. Wow. Nice fat. That's an old walleye. Grumpy walleye. We should eat that. Interesting. Was that, is that, uh... No, that's not what you want to eat. That's not what you want to eat. That's a nice walleye, though. Like, that's probably like a 25, 26 inch walleye. Looks like it's still a spawn in it, which is kind of cool. Nice long one. <laughs> Kick like a mule. First walleye of the year, pretty freaking sweet. Wrong brown fish, though. We're looking for the one that's a little bit fatter and grew up here. Yes! Small mouth and walleye done. That's why you fish up north. Such a cool fish for those of you guys who live down south. You gotta try fishing for small walleye. For those of you that live down south, that is a very, very, very decent one. Like a delicacy up north, oh, yeah. food eating yeah. wise. That one would not be the one you'd wanna eat, but that's like our largemouth bass up here. Everybody wants to go walleye fishing. It's what we were raised on doing when we were younger. And like I said, it's kind of a delicacy for table fairs so people have the notion of going out eating walleyes, catching their limit, eating them. They're super sought after. That's not what we're after, but cool. There it is. Nope. <laughs> Blue balled once again. Once again. Uh, can I have my cell phone, please? I need to check my TikTok updates. Well, 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 well. That spot there, John caught a walleye. Yeah. Alex started fishing, he caught a walleye. It's four o'clock. We're gonna fish a little bit longer, go get some dinner. Regroup for tomorrow morning. Um, tomorrow morning looks a little more bassy than this afternoon. This afternoon, the sun it's really high. Clouds came out, wind kind of laid down. What do you think, John? I think we wreck tits on this next point. Come back here tomorrow and you do even better. Was that you that just hit my line? No. No, when you popped down. Uh-uh. For real? Uh-uh. Dude, I called that. Yep. Oh, nice one. Nice one. Good fish. Oh, good fish, dude. Probably about a four pounder. You reckon? Bigger than that. Oh, <laughs> nice snatch job. That's a little fat butterball. I called that. That was crazy. Like there's one on the left side. Spence was looking at his graph. He like glanced at his graph. He's like, oh, I think I see one over there. Sure enough, I threw over there. And I thought he bumped my line originally. I was like, did you just bump my line? He's like, no, I didn't bump your line. Then like right afterwards, I get hit. Annihilated the swim bait. Sweet. Just a Can fat one. Probably is... a high three, but it's so tiny. Did you weigh it? Yeah, just for fun. He's probably a high three. He's so freaking short, but just, they're heavy. 
you wouldn't think a fish that is quote unquote this small or this short, I should say, would weigh um, so heavy. But yeah, there's uh, like I'm looking at my graph right now. Is there now, another one? Three, four more. So okay, we should probably make this quick. Oh, that's what a we nice got? One. That's a I don't think so. Hi, three. Just as I three, guess. Eight. Three, eight, three, three. Ready? Nice. Yep. Sweet. Let's get a fat release on this puppy. That's sweet though. Look at how fat that thing is. Yeah, we're getting a little bit of a bite here at the end. Yeah, good, good. Thick and girthy. Girthy, birthy. Sweet. Oh, that was due for a nibble. That felt really rad. Hey. What are there, boys? You. Yeah. I think There's that they get twice as big as that. Twice as big. There's a fish. Yeah. Yeah, then it happens. That is such a great way to end the day. Wow. I don't know how big it is, but it's a smallmouth bass. And it ate, and it ate my swim bait. It's a nice one. Oh, not yet. Yes, sir. Woo! <laughs> Unbelievable. I did not think we'd get a bite there at the end, but holy moly, did that pan out. Man, that's at least eight, right? Eight pounds? Uh, no, inches. Oh, yeah. I'm just kidding. Nice eater, anyway. Yeah, <laughs> nice eater. So they got this really nice cheekbone meter here. I'm just kidding. Check it out. That is the final fish of the day. Unbelievable that this is like one of our smaller fish, and it's probably a three pounder. Another little blimp though. Dude, like a blimp is right. Like he barely has any tail. It's just like, he's like just a little big fat gumdrop. God, cool. that's such a sick fish. Perfect way to end the day. Thank you, Spencer, it's for fun. taking me out. If you guys want to book a trip with him, check the description below. Instagram and your website, right? Yeah. yeah you not, do. Many book, not many openings left, but I have a few. Yeah. So I come out. Yeah. Gobi season also starts Gobi in a few weeks. Gobi season starts in three weeks and two days. Right. Make I have sure a you countdown tags. going yeah. right now. And tags are available tomorrow for Gobi. So if you want to get, get off a Gobi trip, book a tag at yeah. the DNR. Call me. We'll get you on a trophy Gobi. Until then? Until then. Smallmouth. Smallmouth are in season. Fat smallmouth. <laughs> I love these fish so much. Incredible. Let's get a sick release. Sick sunset release. Head back to the ramp. Oh my gosh. Oh, right at the camera. How gnarly was that? Woo! So dirty.